So firstly, uh, there are four heart valves, yeah, and uh, the heart valves are designed to uh, allow the blood to flow only in one direction. Uh, they prevent the blood from flowing backwards uh, inside the heart. The two most common valves are the mitral valve and the aortic valve. Uh, the, they are both located on the left side of the heart. The mitral valve separates the left upper and left lower chambers of the heart and the aortic valve is located at the summit of the left lower chamber of the heart. There's two broad causes for heart valve conditions that can lead to surgery. First one is structural and the second one is functional. Structural when you have problem with the valve itself. The valve has either uh, a defect in it that makes it leak or uh, obstruct. Uh, uh, and uh, the second one is functional when the valve structure is normal but it's affected by the heart itself. So these are the two broad, broad uh, causes of uh, a valve uh, that needs to be fixed surgically. So let's start with the mitral valve. In today's world, as far as is possible, we should try to repair mitral valves. It is good for the patient to have his own mitral valve because that, is, uh, that helps the heart function better and in the long run will give him the best durable outcome and less dependence on medications. In some instances, mitral valve repair is not possible, in which case we will have to go to mitral valve replacement. Uh, the common reasons are um, infections of the mitral valve or significantly advanced mitral valve disease, which is beyond repair. So in, in those cases, we would uh, recommend a mitral valve replacement. Options for mitral valve replacement are either uh, a tissue or a biological valve, which is usually made of animal tissue, such as pigs or cows. And the other option is a mechanical valve that's made of artificial materials, such as carbon. The tissue valves are not as durable as the mechanical valves. They probably last on average about 10 to 15 years. With the mechanical valves, uh, they are designed to be much more durable for 20, 30 years. For aortic valve replacement, there are two options for the most part. Uh, one is a mechanical aortic valve replacement, which is a synthetic valve uh, made out of titanium and carbon. This, is, uh, this has only artificial material in it. It is durable for over 30 years. The only downside of a mechanical valve is that it makes a faint clicking sound, which sometimes patients find an unacceptable um, thing. And it also needs lifelong uh, Coumadin, which is a blood thinner they have to take every day, uh, which could interfere with their lifestyle. With the tissue valves, the choice is having no anticoagulation, no blood thinners for the duration of having the valve in, but they don't last as long as a mechanical valve, and they may have to be replaced in 10 to 15 years' time. The Brigham and Women's Hospital performed the first heart valve operation ever done on the planet. In the 1920s, Dr. Elliot Cutler first performed mitral valve surgery in a, in a, in a patient that had rheumatic mitral valve disease, and that is the first reported valve operation. And since then, we have built on that and gone on to be one of the premier heart valve centers in the country and the world. Well, when you look for a valve treatment center, you really want to know what the results of that center are. You need a center that has a high volume uh, of valve surgery, like our center here at the Brigham and Women Hospital. Over time, we have evolved, and now we, we approach heart valve disease in an integrated fashion. We have the Heart and Vascular Center at the Brigham and Women's Hospital, which is an integrated model between cardiology, cardiac surgery, and vascular surgery. Experts from each discipline work together in, in, in order to diagnose and come up with a treatment plan for heart valve disease.